Hey guys, Long Haul Larry, and up here at the Uper House. Still on the rotten stuff. Still on day 612 of repairing rotten boards and stuff. It's been a lot. I can tell you that seeing the outside of this thing um, and all the rotten stuff and all the things that I've had to fix, if I wouldn't have already remodeled the inside and put all that money into it, I would have bulldozed this house and started over, but... I did that first and now I'm getting to see what's going on here and well now you got to fix it so that's what I'm going through is doing the fixing it I'll show you what I got going on right now so last episode I was doing I was working on the other side of this porch and I had some helpers come and they tore all this apart and everything else got this down and got this hole dug and got a post put in here and everything four feet down on the ground it's all concreted and everything and um I put up a new, uh, I don't know what you'd call that board there. I don't know. I don't know. A joist? I don't know what you call it. And then uh, I put one across two in the bottom and it goes underneath the door frame and everything. And now that's all strong. It's all tied in together. And this porch is never going to go anywhere. I put the blocking in the back. I don't know. It doesn't really need it because it's attached on the house. We're good. But I thought, you know what? Just while I got this apart, I should just do it. And that way, can't ever, you know, try to stress it out and fall off or break something. So I'll show you what I'm about ready to do. All right, so I'm going to be starting on this wall over here. I got a line drawn on a 2 by 4 back there. Some of those boards are rotten there. There's some rotten on the bottom. I got to cut that down right on that 2 by 4 remove the window. There is some uh, wood that they have framed out around the window and everything. Well, and... my camera died. Um, but I went and recharged it, and I just kept on working. And I got this part of the entranceway all insulated. And I got all my pine board put on there. And got that window out. Got all the pine wood replaced on that wall that was bad. And yeah, I know I left one board. That's kind of weird. But hey, it was good. So why spend money? So got this all done. So this entrance is pretty much getting sealed up. So now basically what I got to do is put some uh, tar paper. I'm going to put tar paper over the top of this and then put my treated uh, four by my treated um half inch uh treated plywood uh four feet up and put that across over the top of the tar paper and um that little hole right down there is actually a plan i'm going to make a door there it's not really a door but down that goes directly under the crawl into the crawl space of the basement and what i'm going to do is i'm leaving that and then i'm taking the cut off and the plywood and i'm going to make a door with just like two screws that i'll just put the screws in and hold it and then when i put my steel on here then um i'm not going to do this right now because i just i can't do it but what i want to do is underneath the house in the crawl space you have your foundation and everything all the brick but down in the bottom it has a dirt floor and there's moisture down there they put like plastic on there and stuff the, the crawl spaces in the past they've always put, like they would put plastic down and then they would put like fans down in there or have vents on the sides, like little doors like this with vents on them and stuff. So airflow would go through there. It doesn't work. It needs to be sealed and you need to have some way to get the water out and, and everything else and then put a dehumidifier down there. So my plan is next summer to actually pour probably like two inches of concrete all across the floor. So I'm going to take all the plastic that's in down there. And I'm going to get a pump truck with one of their hoses and they can fit that hose right down in there. And I can be down underneath the house and take the hose and then they'll pump the concrete in there and I'll shoot it all down in there and put about two inches of concrete, smooth it out the best I can. And then my plan is just take a, like a five gallon pail um, and um, put a bunch of holes in the bottom, dig a hole, put the five gallon pail in the ground but, and leave it about two inches up and then pour all the concrete and put screen around the bottom of that pail around all those holes and then all the water can leak into that and I'll put a sump pump in there and have a hose coming out of the house and that way it can pump the water out you know in the springtime when all the snow melts and it gets water in there it'll pump all the water out and then I'll put a dehumidifier underneath the house and that'll make it all nice and dry and nothing will ever rot again that's my plan that's why that's there so I got to get moving here and I got rehab tonight. I'm going to go meet the lady. So I'm going to get some tar paper up and throw some tree to plow it up. So this is um, pretty much my last wall that I'm doing here that I'm going to be finding rotten stuff in, I think. And guess what? It's not going to let me down because I took off that one piece and there's lots of rotten stuff behind there. I tell you what, these boards here, I had to actually 
go and buy a whole bunch more. I had a ton of this stuff and I've just been burning through this like crazy, replacing all these rotten boards. And I was figuring it out in my head. I spent over a thousand dollars on one by sixes and one by eight pine parts. And the thing is, I, yeah, I mean, you're probably, somebody's going to say, oh, you could just put plywood over it. Yeah, you could have. But that's not the way the house was built. The house was built with this planking on it. And by putting it back like this with good wood and nailing it all to the different things, it's going to make it super strong. Now I'll put the plywood over, over top of that and makes it even stronger. So it just makes it really strong and everything to do it this way. And so you can see on this side over here, I got this all done. I got this all OSB and and tree to plywood and I got the window back in there and so the next will be taking that window out and I got some help coming for that taking the window out on that side and strip that side down and see how bad it is but I think it's really bad well got all the siding off of this this is the that's the fairy room inside there it's a famous fairy room um and guess what <laughs> this wall is I think the rotten most rotten wall of all how can you tell it's rotten well it's a hammer test <laughs> This whole wall is completely rotten. But here's the messed up thing about it. See, this room here, I actually, this is the only room that I did not pull the drywall out because it was like all brand new drywall and stuff. And somebody came in here and framed this all up, all down there, put a brand new treated sill board all along there and everything. We had it really nice and put all new wall boards in there and everything. It's all new stuff behind it. But they left this junk. I don't understand it. So I'm just gonna be pulling all this off, and basically I'm gonna have to replank this whole wall. I mean, it's rotten all the way. The top board over there and the top board over here don't seem to be rotten. The rest is all rotten. <laughs> so I just gotta start pulling all this stuff off and get to see what kind of surprises we got underneath. Might have to do something with the window frame too. I'm not sure about this window frame here. No, well, putting all these uh, planking this whole wall these one buys and got this really good I got this I shaved it all down and everything and uh, it's nice and straight night there's no bulge here anymore that's all good but I started getting up close and I need to back up but there's nails and boards behind me I started getting up there close and I was like wow did I screw up and make the boards on level really bad or what's going on here and you know like i said i've never touched this room and this windowsill right here was actually down tight to here and then they had little half inch pieces of plywood screwed on here trying to raise the window up somewhat level well it wasn't even close to level and i put it i put right now it's level and it's actually an inch and a half <laughs> it's an inch and a half there right it's cut and that will make it level and so what i'm gonna have to do is go through and i'm trying to start the wind off right because it was really screwed up and up on the top this is not even the correct window size they had like chunks of wood you know all put in there and stuff trying to make it and so we're gonna do this right um this drywall in here it was actually about this high on here and it's just all messed up so i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna measure each one here going back Put a little, little sliver in there and put those in there and then screw it all down and that'll make a nice little base. Then I can continue to keep going up the wall. I got to measure the width of the window because I know it's this isn't right. I think it's two inches too big. So I got to probably put some one buys or something lining it. It's just a lot of messing around, fixing other people's mistakes here. I got quite a bit done last night. I worked out here until dark and... Uh, I actually got that all even off real good and then I came up and the window was like super crooked and I got that bottom window sill all done and then I added a board over here to the side to make it the right width for the window. Now I need to do a board up on the top. Um, the board that I put on the side, it ends right where I need it to be. I got to measure up over that side, tear off all that little stuff they have spliced in there and um, put a nice uh, top header board in there for the window and uh, get it to the right size put it in there and then um this one's getting pretty much done front is all done everything is all done in the whole front of the house over on that side over on the other side it's everything's done i think i'm gonna jump on the back of the house and do this next and um i'll show you what, what's going on back there but this is all done 
you can see out the top of the window it's crooked and um, I think that's why the window was set in there crooked was to try to make it look level with the house um, it's just the way that this wall was built and and um, and the house was set like this it's just weird but that window is level and the thing is, is that in the past the window was very hard to open and and if you open it then it would leak it would have this big crack along it and you would have to sit there and have to, like two people to try to get it all sealed back up so you can lock it and get it sealed back up now it actually works properly so i'd rather have it working properly than than not having you know and than not having a little gap on the top so i'll show you what i'm doing back so now it's as well back here um what do i have to do here well i got to pull both of those windows out and I need to insulate that better get more insulation up in there and that where that put that pipe and then um i just need to start taking two by fours and just building frames all through here and make it so it's 16 inches you know on center so so plywood and everything will will line up with it and then just put plywood over it and uh do the treated plywood and everything else and i'll insulate it once i get the two by fours all built and everything else and uh seal this all up and everything and so i think i'll just do this wall quick next I'm not really too worried about this is gonna be pretty easy because once I frame this out with two i4s and everything it'll just slap together this will be a pretty easy adventure here and then next day they'll be starting on the living room and the garage and everything and I don't think it's gonna be terribly bad um, looks like the windows will have to be all pulled out again I don't know, maybe not we'll see how thick the siding is they may be right on to well yeah they will yeah they will have to be that's Yep, that's not good. Well, it's only two windows, so not a big deal. But uh, I just got to basically pull off all this siding here and get to work on this thing and um, put all the treated side, you know, paneling, plywood on it and the OSB all on it, everything. It's just a ongoing project to get it done. So I think I'm going to let you guys go and I will catch you guys in the next one. I hope that everybody out there is having themselves a great day, great night as they watch this here video. And if you're not, well, certainly try it all over again tomorrow. I will catch you guys next time. Bye.